Have you got your boss pass? You got, you got a boss pass here? Eh? Bring it with you. Come on. Give me a gold chain. This is your business. Yes, sir. And I work closely with other members of the community and the various bodies to try to bring about a positive change within Sparkbrook. Now we have all gathered here hopefully for that same very purpose. This knife bin is a step towards that positive change. Now, we are not calling it a knife amnesty. It is not an amnesty. It is a surrender. Hand over your weapons, whatever you've got, and leave them in the bin. You do not want to use them again. Now, we will hear more about how this can happen in Sparkbrook, but unless it's turned up in the last two minutes, we are going to start, please, with the Chair of the Samson Road Residents Association, Mr. Sabah Khan. Thank you all for coming and thanks for coming everybody. Uh, Samson Road Residents has been working very hard to get the knife in put in. Basically we don't want to see anyone getting killed anymore, we've seen enough people die, it's not a good, it's not you killing the person, it's about the family what suffers after, basically if you kill somebody you're not killing them, you're suffer, making the family suffer, so therefore bring your knives and save a life, yeah, um, thank you for, uh, that's all I can say, and thanks everyone for coming out, and it's nice weather. Thank you very much, Sabah, Chair of the Samson Road Residents Association. Now, we've been working very closely with uh, a charity called Word for Weapons, and they have installed quite a few bins around Birmingham and in other parts of the country as well. And just to say a few words, I would like to introduce Uche Nocker, who has come all the way from London uh, to represent Word for Weapons, and she'd like to say a few words. On behalf of the Ascension Trust and Word for Weapons, I just want to thank you all for your desire to see an end to the scourge of gun and knife crime in the area, this particular area here. It's partnering with people like ourselves that has made it possible for us to get the different knives that we have in different areas. So far, we've collected in excess of 11,000 weapons. People are making use of the knife things. They are wanting to have a change of life. That's only through working with organisations like yourself that that has been made possible. So I just want to thank you for partnering with us. We really appreciate it. And we hope this is the first of, well, in this area, a few more in this area we'd like to see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, you two. Thank you for your support as well. Now, drop, dropping your knife into the bin is only part of the problem, yeah? What happens afterwards? Areas need to be regenerated. Opportunities need to be given to the youth. And just to talk about regeneration, I would like Councillor Tony Kennedy to come up and talk about how Sparta Brook is being regenerated and the plans for it. Hello, thank you. Um, 
I didn't think I was going to be talking about that, but uh, <laughs> Sparkbrook is, has suffered from high youth unemployment, low skills, poor housing, etc. In, in the past. But it has turned, turned the corner. In 21 years ago, when I was elected here, the housing was in a terrible condition. It's much improved now. We are embarking on a regeneration program to put new industries and new businesses into the area, to put more housing in a better housing, and most importantly, jobs and, and opportunities for our young people. It's our young people that are the future. It's our young people that will make this nice um, the, the surrender work. I urge all of you to go home, go back to your families, and search, search your hearts, search your house, search your homes, for any stray weapons that young people may have access to that would lead them into temptation. We must get those weapons into this bin and have a change of culture for those who would carry weapons around. And if you take a bladed weapon into a school, if you're a pupil at a school and you take it in, you will be expelled. And it's your family that will suffer as well as yourself for the future. So please, please take part in this surrender now. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tony. Now, I'd like someone else to come up and say a few words. Someone who... Well, I'll give, give a bit of a history first. Mr. Bob Jones, the late Mr. Bob Jones. Thank you uh, very much for, for inviting me here today. Can, can I thank all those of you who very kindly supported me in the election? I came here just uh, about 10 days ago uh, to see what was going on. I said, as soon as you open this bin, I said I'll be back to see you and here I am to see you. This is a first for me because this is, uh, I've been doing the job now for working days and this is the very first public engagement that I've done and I'm delighted I'm here in Sparkbrook at the Central Association. We've already heard about the, the, the scourge of knife, knife crime and this community has experienced knife crime first hand and at least one person we know has lost their life tragically in an incident that was not that long ago but you know what this is about 